Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We will look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Get started. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So I love the Three of Wands, and when I see this card in my own personal readings, it's a reminder for me to think big and to think globally for my life. What is it that I want to achieve? Where do I want to go? I'm, you know, this character here is looking at the ships out in the sea, in the horizon and you know maybe he's waiting for the ships to come in and maybe he's envisioning getting on that ship and leaving and exploring so whether this is uh, the goal of travel and particularly travel as things begin hopefully to normalize in 2021 world travel state travel country travel whatever it may be uh, or that you're thinking of expansion of building your business in a different direction or um, bringing in new partners. But I think there's a sense here, it's your ability to focus on where and what you want to achieve, you know, where you want to go, how are you going to do it? And I mean, where you're going to go, it could be literal in terms of travel. It could be your vision for success and for growth within your own life. And maybe for some of you, it's not business related at all. It's an opportunity for you to look within, to do some more work as you're looking out over the horizon. I find it to be, I just think that it's, uh, it's, a, it's a reminder to be thinking forward. You know, the past is, is done. We're here today. And yes, we enjoy the present and we enjoy today, but... Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, I have my eye on the future of, you know, what I hope for act three of my life. You know, I'm thinking about these things now and, and frankly, I don't really have a lot of answers, but I, at least I have some ideas and possibilities. So I'm going to entertain them and maybe do a little research and to see whether or not that would be a good fit for me. So maybe that's something some of you may relate to this week. So then we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, charming. Uh, here's a, bringing an offer of whether it's emotional sustenance to you, attraction, possibilities, something new and exciting and fun. Maybe there's someone coming into your life that brings forth a joyous and happy and emotionally rich uh, friendship possibilities for a relationship that for those that are looking but this is a uh, I think it's you can see the horses in the water in this particular tarot card and it's the flowing energy of water energy of, of just letting it immerse you it's important as we do our thing and as we work and as we plan and as we live and love and laugh that we, you know, uh, we get the full gamut of ex of experiences and, and of emotions, whether they're good or bad. But I will say that between the Knight of Cups here and the Queen of Cups, and here she's looking at the cups and the cups are illuminating her face. And here's the cup illuminated with the knight. You know, it's, it's a call to focus on emotions and to, to feel deeply. I think that for some, to, to dig down deep with your emotions may be challenging or may be difficult. For others, maybe it's too much of an emotional um, place where you are and maybe you need to ratchet it back. But emotions, you know, emotional intelligence is equal to being analytical 
and to being creative or bold. You know, it's having the entire picture. And so whether the Queen of Cups is someone within your life who is loving, who is sincere, who's sympathetic, compassionate, maybe it's a phone call or an opportunity to have a coffee with someone who brings that to you and just kind of um, nourishes your soul. And the Knight of Cups, again, maybe a fun opportunity where um, who knows what the night may bring. Lots of laughs, maybe some tears. I mean, I hope not, but hope they're good tears, like maybe a sad movie or something. But um, it's just, uh, it's an interesting set of cards. And as I've been watching a few other readings, I, I see a lot of the cups coming out this week. And so it's a uh, indication to consider your feelings and to you know, acknowledge what's going on and to not bury or to repress your feelings or your emotions. It's that they're there to help us and to guide us. So let's take a look at the Oracle card and we'll see what other information we have. And by the way, the tarot deck is the, I think it's the Arcanum. And I think this is the Osho Zen. Adventure. And I think it's pretty fitting when I think of the Three of Wands. I'm planning adventures for my life, uh, of what's out there. When I am open to receiving new people or new opportunities, the Knight of Cups may bring the adventure uh, to share the adventure with me or may be inspirational to me in some way. So this um, little, little person here moving to the light, unknown path, but illuminated with soft, warm, embracing colors. So find and journal and to write and to think about and to reflect on what adventure means to you. And maybe it's just something out of your normal routine, or maybe it's something that you're planning for when things open up that you realize that life is short and we don't want to be 85 years old and saying, I wish I had taken that trip to, you know, wherever, or I wish I had started my own business in this area because when it's hard to get that back and so now's the time to explore to 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 dream to think of what's next for you and to embrace all the emotional opportunities that come your way so my friends i hope that you stay safe i hope that you are well i wish you much happiness and i look forward to seeing you again